I'm going to do a demo to compare running Interview Copilot from your browser versus running it as a Mac. Let's get started. So if I'm creating it from the web right now and create a new Copilot session, I'm going to skip all the configuration as an ad hoc interview, but you can follow my other videos to see how to create it a customized interview setup for yourself. So now I'm gonna start the live copilot. It will ask me to enable microphone so the copilot can hear what I talk during the interview. It also asks me to share the screen from my interview. If I tap this one, you know, which is the mock interview on YouTube, you can see that it will sending the screen to the copilot, but also share the tap audio here. And in comparison, if I choosing like the window, you will notice that browser doesn't allow me to share audio, but only the video instead. So in order to use in web copilot, you have to share it from your Chrome tab, you know, like share your meetings from the Chrome tab. So in this case, if you're using Zoom, you have to open it as a browser. You can see our instruction in the app. So now I'm sharing it right now. And you can tell this is uh, getting set it up. So let's start the copilot session. And from the transcript box, you can see that the copilot is able to recognize when I'm speaking and live transcribe it into text and let's get in the video started here which is the mocking no interview. pressure the question i'd like to ask you today is how would you improve google chrome awesome so i guess my first question would be what do you mean by improve are there specific things that we're optimizing for so for example um, we could, our goal could be to increase our user acquisition. Uh, it could also be to... And it's very clear to tell that it's able to recognize what the interviewer is speaking. And in the meantime, the copilot able to recognize in the question asking here and start to giving very similar recommendations to what this, you know, like a uh, demo is, a uh, mock interview is given as well. So, but let's try to share this as a window in this case. And now let's keep playing the audio here. Um, or maybe improve how satisfied they are with the product. Did you have a particular goal in mind? It's really important to ask clarifying questions, both so that you can make sure that you're on the same so page we as have the, the interviewer, problem because as we well can as only so that you can the scope screen, the question into something that is feasible really to solve the during the course of the, the interview. At all. So when Akshat asks the interviewer what they mean by improve, that's a really great way to kind of narrow down the problem space and understand. So. But if we using the Mac app, which runs as part of your system plugin, it doesn't require extra setup. So you can just create a new interview here and without much uh, waiting. So let's just getting started. And we can tell here is that you can changing the size of your copilot. You can even always pin it to the top make it transparent so you can even lay it on the interview's face so your eyes won't be distracted. Um, and you can also change, adjust the size of the window and mark it as you know, hide it from screen. So when people asking you to share your screen, they won't see it. So now let's go back to the question again and see if this is works. The question I'd like to ask you today is how would you improve Google Chrome? Awesome. So I guess my first question would be, what do you mean by improve? Are there specific things that we're optimizing for? So for example, um, we could our goal could be to increase our user acquisition. Uh, it could also- Now we can tell that during this, you know, like without any setup, um, we can easily see the copilot can running on the site for any video, you know, like or window you're playing right now and also can hear what you're talking. And notice that I only tapped one click to really starting this without really extra setup. So compare Mac and web, we can tell that the web video is when we are running the copilot on the Mac, it works with any meeting software and it has universal support. You don't need to switch to browser mode and it's very stable and has a very low latency. You can even ping the window on your meeting and adjust the transparency for better eye contact with the interviewer. And the cons is that it's only currently supporting Mac right now, and it requires you set up microphone and camera and screen record permissions before you can use it. And for the web version, it supports any platform, works on Windows, Linux, and Chromebook, 
and there's no installation needed. The problem is that you have to install, you know, running the meeting software in your browser to be able to fully sharing screen and audio with the copilot. And also during the interview, you have to juggling between tabs. So you may have some eye issue and being caught by the interviewer.